In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can edit your pictures to make them look more professional. So let's get started. Hey, what's up, guys? Drewel here, and as you can see, this is the final output, and this is the original image. Now, if you want to use this image, uh, it's from eventart.com, and the download link is in video description. So feel free to use it. So first of all, let's double click on the background and unlock it. Then I'm gonna make a copy of it, press Ctrl J. After that, go and press Ctrl T and then I'm gonna rotate it a little bit, uh, as you can see, so the model is a bit more aligned. Uh, so that looks pretty nice and then I'm gonna go and make it bigger. Uh, so I think that's pretty good. Then go and confirm it. And after that, again press Ctrl T and this time make the image a bit more smaller, like this. Then go and confirm it. So now if I turn it on and off, you can see the difference. After that, go and create an adjustment layer and select curves. In the curves, let's keep it here. In the curves, first of all, make a dot here and bring it slightly down so we don't lose a lot of contrast. And then pull this point a little bit up. Don't do it too much or it will make image look really flat. So that's more than enough. Then go to blues. In the blues, add bunch of blues. Don't worry about it. Uh, add ton of it. Okay, so that looks pretty nice. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow to balance that out. Don't do it too much so the skin tone looks better. So that's nice. Uh, let's go back to the RGB and add a bit more contrast. Uh, I think here. Looks pretty good. Go and close it. So if I turn it on and off, it has already started taking shape. After that, go and create another adjustment layer and this time select selective colors. In the selective colors, I'm gonna go and start with the reds. In the reds, add bunch of reds uh, so her hair uh, gets a little bit more punch. Then I'm gonna also add a little bit of magenta, not too much. Uh, so I think that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of black for the contrast. After that, jump to your greens uh, for the leaves. In the magenta slider, add a lot of greens so we have more saturation in the leaves. That looks pretty good. And then go to your blacks and add a bunch of blacks so we have nice uh, contrast in leaves as well. Looks pretty good. Uh, now let's go and jump to the neutrals. In the neutrals, I'm gonna add a bunch of uh, black. Not too much. I think 8 is enough. Uh, and then I'm gonna go to my blacks. And this time I'm gonna remove the uh, slider in negative that's why we added a bit more contrast in neutrals so this is way too much obviously so i'm gonna let's go and make it minus 8 as well or let's try minus 10 pretty good looks nice go and close it so if i turn it on and off the image is already taking shape looks pretty good now let's make her eyes a bit more bright for that uh, i'm gonna zoom in uh, then go and create new adjustment layer and select curves in the curves simply go and make it a bit brighter not too much, I'm gonna make it bright from here and then a touch from here. Looks pretty good, then go and close it. Only focus on the eyes, nowhere else. So I'm gonna select my mask and then press Ctrl I. So for a moment we can't see anything. So I'm gonna go and select my brush and in the brush go and select white color, pure white and make sure opacity is 100%, right click and make sure hardness is 0%. And then I'm gonna zoom in and paint only and only I. Select layer mask and let's go and paint. So if I zoom out and we can see the eyes look much more alive. So let's zoom out all the way. After that, go and create another adjustment layer and this time I'm gonna go and select a solid color. In the solid, you have to select something that's almost black but not completely. Uh, so if you want exact code, my color was 151515, uh, then go and close it. Then go and change its blending mode to where is it? Exclusion. So if I turn it on and off, it gives that really hazy look. But I don't want it on entire image. So I'm gonna select my layer mask here, I'll grab my brush tool and make sure color is black because we want to remove it. Make the brush really big and remove it from this center part. I only want uh, in the surrounding. So it gives that really nice mood. So now if I turn it on and off, see, it looks better and it has started blending really nice. We are going pretty good and now I want to bring back some details on this hand. So for that I'm going to show you a trick. Go and create a new blank layer from here and then press Ctrl, Alt, Shift and E. So you have a JPG inside Photoshop of the document. Then go to your image, adjustment and this time I'm going to go and select shadows and highlights. Here. Uh, go to your radius and bring it down and if you don't see these options uh, just click on show more option and you will have it 
so I'm gonna go and click the radius down make the shadow zero uh, and increase the highlights a bit more here amount so only focus on the hand here see we're getting these details really nice so looks good uh, I'm gonna go and keep it here perfect go and hit ok now again I'm gonna go and apply a layer mask then make sure you have selected your layer mask and then press ctrl i so everything's hidden now i'm gonna select my brush and since we want to reveal it i'm gonna go to my white color uh, and then make the brush a bit smaller and paint where the hand is if it looks a bit blotchy don't worry about it just simply paint uh, over on the entire hand so let's go and do it So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, it looks really strong. So I'm going to go and make the opacity somewhere around 50%. Uh, and I think now it blends in a lot better. I'm also going to show you a way how to deal with these patches. But before that, let's go and create new adjustment layer. And this time I'm going to select channel mixer. Here I'm going to add a bunch of red somewhere around like 150 for this hair. And then I'm going to add a bunch of green for the leaves. Make it somewhere around like 130, uh, let's say yep i think that looks pretty good and then i will increase my blue to remove that tint so keep it up until you get rid of the entire tint so i think looks pretty good let's go and close it so if i turn it on and off as you can see now the color tones look much better but the problem is the face looks pretty weird and the hand skin as well so select your mask select the brush and this time black color because we want to remove it just remove it from entire skin So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, the skin also looks really nice. Now I'm going to show you how to deal with these patches. So for that, go and create a new blank layer from here and then press shift backspace. Uh, and here in the option, go and select 50% gray, hit OK. It's basic dodging and burning and change the blending mode to soft light. And here in the tools, right click and select the dodge tool. In the dodge, make sure it's highlight and make sure you're not more than 10% because it's really strong. So I'm keeping it at 7 and then go and start painting uh, where you see these dark patches and it will eventually go away. It takes time and practice but once you get hand of it, it's really useful. So let's go and do it a little bit here. So now if I turn it on and off, as you can see, the shadows look much better. And as you can see, I did little too much. So there's no problem. You can simply just go and decrease the opacity. So you can always see the details where you want. Uh, and I think it looks pretty okay. And the effect is also almost done. So for the final step, go and create new adjustment layer and select gradient. In the gradient, go here. Uh, and instead of this yellow color, I'm going to go and make it pure black, hit OK. And also on this side, go and make it pure black, hit OK, OK. And in the style, I'm going to go and make it radial uh, and in the where is it, make it reverse. So it's on the outside uh, and in the scale, make it somewhere around 250. Uh, so let's say, yep, that looks better. Uh, and adjust the gradient so uh, her face is the brightest uh, and we have gradient on the outside then simply go and hit ok so now if i turn it on and off as you can see it looks better but i don't want it in some areas so for that i'm gonna go and select the layer mask get the brush black color and make it really big like real real big and remove it from certain areas where i don't need it so now if i turn it on and off uh, she is in much more focus and if you think the gradient is way too strong, uh, I'm going to go and reduce the opacity somewhere around like 80%. And now if I turn it on and off, it blends in a lot better. So I think this turned out pretty good for the tutorial. And once you get practice of it, you, know, you can do it much faster. So I really hope that you guys learned something from this video. And if you did, hit that like button. And if you have any kind of questions or suggestions, feel free to ask me in comment section below and if you want to check out more tutorials by me you can click on any of these boxes plus you can subscribe to my channel so every time i upload a new video you will get the update so till then goodbye take care and have some fun with photoshop